tired of it. It stops today. Came over. Got to touch me. Put your hand behind your back. It's here in the blue. 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 The bottom line is, you know, it does not matter if you're a black man. You are an open, it's open season, you're a target. You know, I, I'm from the South, so I do understand racism. But I'm also someone who was blessed enough to get a, get a good education and, uh, and to work and, and, and to be and, and to live in a lucrative way. But, I, but I'm reminded every day that none of that matters. I'm still a black man. Um, there's a joke, it's not even a joke, but years ago, someone said, what do you call a black man with a PhD? And the answer was a nigga. I just think that there's such a high level of institutionalized racism in this world, but also definitely in this country and in this city. And so, you know, it's going to take, it's a challenge, it's an uphill battle because we have innocent people. I mean, it's, these are the cases that just make it to the news. There's cases like this happening every day. My Facebook feed alone has five to six incidences on tape every day of people being discriminated against based on color. And it's not right, and I would love to see a change, but I don't necessarily have faith that unless we're, we activate and we motivate in the way like we're doing tonight, in a peaceful way and in an intelligent way, that things are gonna change. I'm sick and tired of this because my mother's 73 years old and she was 14 when Emmett Till died. She was the same age as he was. And she and my father and so many of my family members have just gone through this and seen hatred their entire life and it hasn't changed. And we certainly can't have it in our in our government, in our law enforcement, and it needs to stop. It's a wallet, a wallet. You know, don't you keep money in your badges? This is a wallet. remorse would have been when my husband was yelling to breathe. That would have been the time for him to show some type of remorse or some type of care for another human being's life. When he was screaming 11 times that he can't breathe. So there's nothing that him or his prayers or anything else would make me feel any different. No, I don't accept his apology. No, I could care less about his condolences. No, I could care less. He's still working. He's still getting a paycheck. He's still feeding his kids. And my husband is six feet under. And I'm looking for a way to feed my kids now. I can't breathe. 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 Well, I think that there has been a lot of lives that have been taken because of the police. And I think that the fact that they didn't indict them just shows, it's sending us a message that they can kill us and get away with it. Well, the body cameras, I don't, I'm not too sure about the body cameras. Um, I'm not sure if it's a good idea or a bad idea just because a lot of What's been captured is on cameras already, and it seems like that still um, injustice is happening. So I, I, I really don't have an uh, opinion on it. What do you, what do you think the police accountability is? How do we keep police accountable for the lives that are being taken? Sorry? How do we keep police accountable for the lives that are being taken? By putting them through the justice system just like everyone else and making sure that, you know, the families of the people who die have a fair trial and that um, if they're guilty and proven guilty that they, you know, suffer the consequences.